Oh, my, my computation optimization professor let me out at like 353, so I was speed walking as well. Yes, right. I don't think any slides are a song. <laughs> it's popcorn. Popcorn. But if you point at another person, <laughs> holy. <laughs> <laughs> that means every other slide would be me. Uh, we got post that slide. So we don't know anything. Slides. Yeah. Slides. That's if I don't pop corner myself. Yeah. Yeah. You could pop corner myself. Yeah. I couldn't pop corner myself. Yes. Yeah. 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 See, this is why I like making a new project every semester because I don't have to worry about the last one. So yeah. you just ditch it? This party <laughs> <laughs> is now an archive. Forgot the project. Well, it's, actually, it's not, an it's not an archive, but it, technically, it is archive because the SDK doesn't work anymore. That's fair. Still only in the do anything. The master in the last class because the audio is all over the place. Which one does do the master volume doesn't do anything? Travel doesn't do anything. Bass doesn't do anything. Wait, which one does something? It's HDMI. Uh, <laughs> I would rather not touch the big red switch. <laughs> That's the power center. Oh my god. I don't think that's, that did what you wanted it to do. Did it do anything though? Did it turn the PC off? Yes. And the mixer. It turned everything off. That's <laughs> wait. That's the that's basically the master power switch. <laughs> I killed the media site recording. I, I'm I'm glad we figured that out the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who wants to do what slides? Oh, do we have a slide mocking the thing? Oh, it. Uh, so do from the uh, you could do from the phone. Uh, it's, so, so, it's so popcorn, clunky popcorn. though. Let's do it. Oh have, no. Oh, I want to go to the side. No, I want it to go. Is it under here? Or yeah, or is it that one? Oh, there it is. Oh, not too late. It's already in. Who wants to introduce? Like, Phil, they want to share. Let's take it. No, whatever, whatever floats your boat, Frank. Ideally, we go through these slides fast, and we can say, okay, try to find. One. Sorry, everyone. Okay, Bill, so you'll introduce some stuff. Uh, okay. do you, when do you want to hand it off? I'll hand it off right after the introduction. Yeah. Well, actually, no, I, well, I will pull the crowd to today. It does actually have a sound on there. That she's running. But it doesn't give it to my CN. What's wrong with that? Can you see when it's on the projector or the WebEx? She can't tell me. Okay, it's only on good, good screens and you can see it. All right, so it's a book. Well, that's why I don't care that much. But it is a slight annoyance. Okay, you want me to pick it up? How about you do? How about I pick it up at this point? Submit your project that you have. So you do the enemy discussion. You say, okay, we're about to start. Okay. No, I'll take these. I'll take these two then. But you start here. Okay, I'll start. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not seeing a pattern. Yeah. Trying to do the uh, just focus your eyes the way. Sure. Is it just really well? Oh, is it because external? Yeah. Yeah. So, maybe, maybe <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's coming. Yeah, it's spreading. 
the scheduling horses, they're out. Yeah. Finally, you can take yes for something. How about you count? Let's all count for We're going to do it. Oh, well, wait, can we just guess? Let's do it. I want to say 75. I'm yeah, so thirsty. I still want to say 75. You're thirsty? I didn't drink enough water. Oh, you said there's more than 70? Yeah, I drank 120 ounces or something like that. Maybe 80? 128. 128? Okay. Or eight cups. What? That's 64. How many gallons of 128? Probably like 500. Yeah. <laughs> it's one. Oh, okay, okay. That's Trinity chat here. Right, why is the milk measuring half gallons? Half drinking, the other half is for other ingredients. For why is the milk measuring gallons? The soda is measured in liters. Would you like one of us to also have it open for the chat? So like a laptop? Um, yeah, it's, it's probably fine. We'll just go back and, and check every now and then. Does, does no one remember the the uh, the training that we all have to go through for the tripping mountains? Oh, all right. And everyone hear me. All right, we got thumbs up in the back. That's good. Oh, it seems that the people behind me cannot hear me, but that's unfortunate for them. All right, so welcome to uh, the end of January. Almost. Um, this is meeting number what? Six. six. Thank you, Frank. Um, and we are starting uh, kind of small group meetings today. Um, unfortunately, the registrar could not get us our room assignments on time, which is quite the travesty considering how much money we pay. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Let's brush over the fact that our tuition costs more than an arm and a leg. Um, and uh, so we'll be using this room and any adjacent empty rooms for uh, any small group meeting. Um, so if you if you you and your project are here, then um, pick any of the empty rooms in DCC and you can post your um, project there. <laughs> we are recording. All right, so this is the agenda. I've kind of went over what we need to do today. All right, so yeah, we're just starting out on the project execution phase of the semester, which is the, at least for me, the least exciting part. Um, I prefer having fun during pitches and uh, final presentations, although my colleagues would disagree. Like one day of our <laughs> but yes, this is first day, so exciting stuff. Everyone gets to work on their projects or start working on their projects. Um, let's go. Okay, so for any projects that have not filled out the Google form yet, uh, you are late. As in, I'm not talking about the project late. I'm talking about you are late to fill out the form. Uh, is there any project that has not filled out the Google form? Okay. But you know who you are. Let's get it done. And I know who you are, so you better get it done. All right. Um, so that's just the Google form. We also have... Uh, submitty teams to submit. Uh, so if you look on submitty under Arcos, you will see that there is a gradable open for project proposals and under project proposals, you will see that there's a button to manage team. When you click on it, you will see your team name and you will see um, a button to invite people to your, um, to your team. In my case, uh, I named my project name is Autogif, and I've invited both people um, other than me onto the project. And all project leads should do this. 
um, prior to submitting your proposals. That way we have all of your information. Yes. You can also tell at that point who isn't on a team. The more important thing is we have all of your information. No. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Here's a list of all the projects that we have recognized so far. That is everyone who submitted the form. This includes projects that pitched and projects that didn't pitch. So if you're on a project or you think yourself to be in the project and it's not on this list here or here, and you can refer to these slides in the slides channel on Discord, that means that your project lead, which may or may not be you, has not submitted the form yet. Um, I think there might've been one extra submission after we made these slides. So if you're that one that recently submitted, you are included here, maybe two. Um, so again, all the projects should be listed here. And if it's not listed here, as far as we can tell, that project doesn't exist. So please make sure that um, your project is listed here. We don't want to get to the middle of the end of the semester and realize that we never knew that your project was running. On that note, there are a handful of students that are not on the project yet. And we're basing that off of students whose RCS IDs were not included in project team submissions from project leads. Now, this could include people who actually just haven't chosen the project yet. It might also be students who think they're on the project and maybe the project lead accidentally forgot their RCS ID. If you're in that first category, so if you haven't chosen the project yet, as we said, it is past time to do so. There's no penalty to doing it late. But ideally, by end of day today, you must make sure if you have not chosen the project yet that you have spoken to a project lead and been accepted by them and have had the form or they will resubmit the form or update their form with that. Uh, this is extremely important, especially if you're doing ARCOS for credit, because this is obviously how we keep track of you for the whole semester. So if you're not on the project as of right now, you can either go around and find a project to talk with and maybe join or reach out to either us coordinators or Professor Turner, and we can point you in the right, the right direction of some projects that are still looking for members. On that note. So um, this is a little bit of rehash of information on the, on the last page uh, where, where Frank did the, the projects we had. Um, but what I did was I put all the projects together that we have submissions from along with uh, the size of the project so far. And I'm going to tell you that if you come in and try to get on whole buddy, open circuits, yaks, shuttle tracker, I'm going to discourage them from taking any more people. They're pretty big right now. In fact, they are uh, just about huge right now. So what I would like you guys to think about is there were a couple of projects up here where we only had one or two people or zero people who actually took it up. Um, beam stress analyzer is used by uh, the computer engineering department as part of their classwork. The person who's been maintaining it is graduating. There's some work that needs to be done on it to make it more flexible, uh, more applicable to, to additional uh, demonstrations. So they, are, they would really love somebody from Arcos to help them out by picking this up and carrying it along for another couple of years. Um, it is, like I said, actively part of their curriculum. NP Data Hub, Brett Arch Archeski is a, a new research, or new uh, uh, faculty here. He's got some pretty cool ideas about monitoring charity, charitable organizations and getting information on them. You know, he's looking for somebody. I think he's got a really good project. He's got some good organization. And I would expect that he's trying to get some publications and things out. So if you're looking for, for some, some uh, actual exposure to the academic process, that would be pretty cool. And then we could just walk on down. We have the, the virtual uh, the foundry. If you like playing D&D, &D, cool. IBM quantum computing, we'll have one person on. Machine Learning Exchange, I think if you talk to some of the people that were on that in the last couple of semesters, it's a pretty cool project. Open Energy Dashboard, we have one person on that. One of the things we're trying to get done this semester is we're trying to actually get a liaison to our own heating and, and cooling department so that we can actually monitor our own energy. You know, it would be kind of cool to get involved with that. And again, uh, Jockey, I don't remember Jockey. What was Jockey? New one. Oh, didn't pitch. They're probably not looking for people. But harass them anyway. I don't think Alice is looking for people. Um, 
Alice is doing an informal study on a couple of different things. Feel free to talk to her about it. Um, dorm design is an ongoing project allowing you to, to, to uh, do your dorm rooms. Uh, Graham Massale, one of our coordinators is on that. It's being carried forward by his co-partner in crime this semester, but it's pretty cool. Um, it, it, building up templates for all of the rooms at RPI so that you can put your furniture in there, coordinate with your roommate, and uh, and like have the best room ever. I'm gonna stop at, at that. After that, we have everybody with twos, but because um, it's always good to have somebody to talk to, but certainly anything up to, you know, seven or eight is a good is a good thing to, to hit up if, you, if you're interested in it. I know Frank is doing Rath Skeller and Rath Spreiter, and I pronounced that as relatively correctly. I know uh, Bill, Bill is doing, uh, what are you doing, Bill? Oh, auto GIF. Uh, Paul Oppenheimer is doing telescope, which is how we run our, how we run our coast. It's our website. You know, there's a lot of stuff out there. Hunter is out of the running. Um, <laughs> so, you know, please contact us. We have enough projects for everybody to work on. There are a couple of projects I would love to see picked up. Um, you know that that aren't get, that don't have very few people or or don't have anybody on them. So please consider that as we go along. We strongly recommend that you look at the smaller projects because you can have an outsized impact on something small. So you know, outsized means bigger than yourself, um, and it would be pretty cool to get some some more involvement on some of those things. Please consider it. What now? Am I supposed to be? Yeah. All right. So what now? This is the time when you should be staring at your mentor and they should be telling you uh, how they're gonna run their small groups. Um, as Bill kind of sarcastically put, <laughs> uh, we don't currently have our small group room set up, which is surprising because DCC 308 is free. I mean, it's not a small group room, but it's a group room. And I went down the hallway there and 305, 306, 308, and 309 are free. So we have just about enough room to accommodate everybody. What we're gonna ask you guys to do is go out. It, it doesn't have to be one group per room, but go out, try to form your groups, use Discord as necessary. I think we have about 20 people online um, who are not here right now. Uh, let's see, we have, 22 people online who aren't here right now. Uh, you know, coordinate with them on Discord if you have the opportunity. I am not going to take attendance today. This is the last time I'm not gonna take attendance. What that means is these first six meetings were free. You get credit for them. Um, that's a big bonus, kind of, uh, it is. So, you know, we will be taking it from hell or high water, as my grandfather, actually my grandmother used to say, get a foul mouth sometimes. <laughs> um, we will be taking attendance starting on Tuesday. Okay, so be prepared for that. Um, do we have anything else? We have something in the chat. Breadcrumbs is not looking for more members, so don't don't go to breadcrumbs. Oh, there's a Hass Pathways project with Professor Brom, and based on what he has said, I'm not sure if he knows about the submitting stuff. Okay, so I think we've got somebody uh, coordinating that right now. Um, if you want to type your. Uh, your email or your, your contact information in the chat. Uh, just, yes. <laughs> yeah, put, put, so please refer to the Haas Discord. We have somebody coordinating that right now. Um, and I, I believe that he's pulling everything together and we'll, we will try to get Brown more engaged. It's, it's uh, confusing for our external mentors too. Um, any questions in here? Those were the questions from uh, the people online. Um,
Did you get this person? You're all seven. You have been added to the team. Just on the project proposals. I think we can think about it. Okay, hold on, hold on just a second. We'll let you go in just a few slides, folks. Please hold up. This is what you're working on today. If you're wondering what to work on today in your first meetings with your projects, that should be your project proposal. This is a very simple Word doc, making the Google Docs, making it something like that. That just lists out your title, the project lead, the project team members, and a description along with some milestones. The details for this are found in the handbook. So if you just go to the handbook, you'll see a page or just go to this link. It tells you everything you need to know as long, uh, along with an example. We expect you to submit this via the submittee team by Tuesday. So not all of you will be able to start working on your projects immediately. This is something you'll work on. The project lead will spearhead this because they're the one who really kind of determines the details. Work with your team. Be sure to add them to the submittee team. And next class, hopefully everything will be sorted out. And we should have Discord channels and roles for everyone automatically assigned. So at some point on Tuesday, if you don't see that you have a role for your project or you don't see a, a channel for your project, we missed you somehow. Reach out to us. We'll have more details on that. Again, we're taking attendance next time. So what you should do right now, find your project lead and find a room to work in. That could be this room somewhere. It could be 308 if it's empty. It could be a next door room. Make sure you're with your team. And it's not just one project per room, right? Once we go to small groups, it will be a handful of projects per room. So don't, don't worry if there's already a, an Arcos project in one room. Feel free to share. Those are all the details. And we, unless there are any other questions, Find your projects. <laughs> right, next. Well, spread out. Wow. <laughs> Eleven people. If you have six. I'm going to find you. Yeah. I'm going to find me. Okay. Okay. Before it's me. Excuse me. Uh, I'm uh, so I done it too. It was uh, I think I had personal note. Yeah, yeah. That's me. Okay. Yeah. Um. So I was talking to someone and they should actually decide. Is there some place for me to? Am I still able to add it? Actually, I should ask that first. Uh, well, you don't have to add it if you're doing zero credits. Okay. If you want, if you want to add, if you want to do it for cre more credits, okay. then, then I need to put you in. Okay. Is that still possible? Uh, do you have a project? Oh uh, yeah, I'm in uh, the uh, chair. Yeah. All right, and uh, Professor Mustaf. I haven't talked with them. I talked with uh, the project lead Sam. Okay. Institutors Mustaf, right? That's Mustaf. I think that's the. Uh, Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Are you up with him? No. Oh, uh, no, no. It's a. Uh, I thought he was your project leader. No, they're. Uh, this, I think that, that's the Open Horizon part of it. I'm pretty sure because that's. I think that's how they're doing the uh, deploying that. I don't know the. Uh, yeah, I learned about it from one of the project people I talked to. So I'm gonna try to. I'd be, inter I'd be interested in doing this. Okay. Um. Actually, let me get my other thing. Okay. All good. Yeah, unfortunately, I've got plenty. Oh, but now I'm all in on that. And i
Sorry, guys, this is taking longer than uh, all good. It is largely the uh, fault of VPN, I think. Probably, yeah, or our new our new security software. I'm not the biggest fan of it all. Yeah, I'm not either. Is there anyone that is lost and cannot find their project? Come on. Did something happen to RPI's network? Probably. All right. Um, while this is coming up. Uh, uh, so I'm working on the virtual tabletop. Uh, yes. Uh, um, so yeah. I was talking to the person who. Anthony Ronda? Yeah. 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 Um, and they're only able to meet uh, at some point next week. And I want to talk with them before I start deciding exactly what we're talking about. Okay. Considering that the project proposal is Tuesday. Um, I want to make sure I talk to them. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's an existing. So yeah, I know about it. I looked into the. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what. So I think what we're doing, you want to talk to the people in it. Yeah. Well, um, instead of you know, we can give you a break on the proposal. Okay. Um, That's what I'm but you, you know, it, it was also worked on an RPI a couple of semesters ago. Okay. So it might be worthwhile to dig that information up. And, and while you're, uh, yeah, while you're, uh, hey, do you know where the uh, where the proposals are from spring 2021? That's a year ago. I was on medical leave. You were on medical leave. Um, yeah, post to Discord, we may be able to get you the proposal from a previous year so you can kind of look at, oh, um, and it'll give you a start. But yeah, do that and try to figure out their technologies and just do some. Exploration, yeah. but uh, you know, don't waste your entire. Uh, I, won't, yeah. I won't be wasting my time. Okay, good. And I could volunteer for there, but because I don't have a group. So yeah, but, well, especially this week. But yeah, exactly. yeah. Uh, but yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Oh uh, yeah, what project? Um, probably online. So, so what project? Not really. I think you're the only person right now, and it's an IBM project. So yeah, so you're probably you know I would. Reach out on Discord to them. I'm trying to get you some help. If we can funnel some more people to you, that would be good. Okay. Oh, there might be. I no, the number I had, I think, was one though. But hi. Um, so I want to switch right now, but anyway, I can switch Yeah, well, easily. Oh, okay. Where do you want to switch to? Uh, no problem. Problem. If you skip the other one. Okay. Um, yeah, one of you the project lead. Yeah, okay. Um, just tell Gabriel to pull you off the shuttles and uh, get Kim to put you on. Uh, it'll be both on submitting and on, on the project proposal. Okay. But the project proposal, the project roster form, is primarily so that we can get small groups set up. Before we have okay. So, you know, so we wanted a rough number. Right? We don't want to put. You know, two groups of 27 together in a room. That's, right. You know, yeah. So that it would, so it's, it's, you know, if you change the form, we can put them on that and then uh, we can be subtracting from submitting uh, from shuttle tracker. And, uh, and then we will, uh, when we go into submitting, you know, you only accept one invitation. So make sure you I can leave them. the group on submitting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. That's good. Also, um, I guess a side question I was thinking of. This will probably apply like later in the semester. Um, but but we're trying to um, base the basic goal of the project is to make like like a, an intelligent like ping pong ball like server. Uh, okay. So like not I, for beer pong. Right? No, no, like actual, actual ping pong. Okay, actual just just pong. making sure. <laughs> um, so like later in the semester. Do you think like in a school during like the small group meetings, we'd be able to instead like meet and like work on the table? 
instead of like coming to class or we still come to class and then go back like once we get to the point where we're actually like deploying it yeah. on the table testing. when you're let's talk about it with you like um, when it comes okay. like, um yeah. we'll probably be able to work out something but you know your time here is not the only time you should be working right but you, yeah. you know you should, you should come here and at least get the get the uh the announcements and everything and then we can probably excuse you yeah. okay okay got it makes sense yeah. Yeah. yeah thank you What's your uh, rim? Yeah. Okay. Uh, six six one. And nine. It's five five. Also have You didn't have to memorize a whole lot of oh, numbers. No. Something. <laughs> Benjamin Dennison. Yep, that's me. Okay, and you, you which you want three or four credits? Uh, well, so I, I really don't know the difference. Um. Well, we have we offer anything from you know one to four credits. Okay. Um, and it's basically how much you know if there's. We give you a break on the amount of work the lower you go. Okay. Um, but the standard load is good. Okay. Uh, I can do one. And then like you want to do one? Yeah. Sure, you don't want to go higher. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go to three. Three? Okay. Yeah. Just if you're at one, you, I, I, you, don't, you don't get as much out only, of it. Only reason why is because I think. Um, so I think the, we didn't do an override for over 20 or something. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Over 20. Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay, that's what I was Go for four, yeah. Okay, I'll go for four. There's no difference between three. Okay. Okay. There is. <laughs> there, there is. <laughs> it's not a huge difference. Yeah. Yeah, we, we maybe bump you up by half a letter grade or something. That's, a, that's about, okay. yeah, that's, that's fairly close to, to, to what it is. I just want to make sure I don't, I'm not like, yeah. you know, I don't get yeah. some crazy well, email from them being like, hey, let me do it. You know, and so we can recognize it relatively soon before the end of the drop time. We can we can knock you down as well. Okay. Okay. All right. But, all right. Very cool. cool. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, so somebody brought up a fair point. So our first meeting is probably until next Wednesday. Okay. Um, and how they can close their data before then is that like I don't um, know what to do. You should do it that way. I don't know what to do. Ask our email Brahm and ask him if he has a from the previous semester. And then you guys can take a look at that and see what, what's there and start looking at the technologies you need. Mm -hmm. And then should we just simply submit that same one? Uh, you'll, you'll probably you can resubmit that one to begin with. I mean, you probably want to modify it, mm -hmm. um, but you know we'll give you a break on that date as long yeah. as just just a, uh, Discord me, DM me, or or email me and let me know. Yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, you're welcome. Oh. See you later. Yeah. See you, Professor. You got to walk around and make sure everybody's doing good, dude. I'm going to follow you to make sure you don't just leave. No, no, I'll get you. Uh, get you. Thank you. 